Hi, I'm Falcon. I'm Alex. I'm Rainbow Brown. And we're Necrogoblicon. We're Necrogoblicon. We're watching Tattoo.com. Tattoo.com. Dot com. What a place. Tattoo.com. Hey guys, it's Miss Chibi Smell, and I'm standing here at Gas Monkey Live with the one and only fucking Necrogoblicon. I am so stoked. I don't know. I'm oh, sort yeah. of a, I'm sort of a fan. I bet honestly, it's been way too long. Last time we saw you guys was in Cali at oh. Slide Bar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like a show or something. Uh, with the faceless, maybe? I don't even remember what it, it was a couple of, it was a while ago. It was a while ago. Yeah. Yes. Christmas extravaganza yeah we had a couple christmas extravaganzas there so it was probably one of those it, it probably was it, again i reiterate cali bar so you know you had me at bar right yeah. why i am so stoked about you guys is i mean how fucking awesome is metal and goblins and trolls done the right way i mean fucking epically so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go around the band let the guys introduce themselves and let them tell you about you, and then I'm going to get all excited with them. So we'll start with you, sir. Hi, I'm Nikki, a.k.a. Falcon. I sing for Necrogoblicon, and um, I'm here enjoying the Gas Monkey on our last day of tour, ready to uh, play a show and drink some beer. Fantastic. And you? Hi, I'm uh, Alex, play guitar at Necrogoblicon. And you, sir? I'm Eric W. Brown, and I play the drum set for ne Necrogoblicon. I play, play drums. I play drum set. And speaking of drummer, new drummer, new album coming out. Woo! I believe yeah. it is April 13th, correct? True. Yeah. True. Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. Friday. And it is Welcome to Bonkers? Yes. It's fantastic. Cool. I'm not saying I'm a stalker. I'm saying I'm a fan. <laughs> you know, borderline, right? That's the best, it's yeah. borderline. Got to. Can't tell the difference anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, the new album is hitting. But for people that do not understand the concept of Necrogoblicon and have no fucking idea about the experience that is not only going to hit their ears and fucking just brutalize them, but the visuals. Can somebody explain what Necrogoblicon would be? The visuals of Necrogoblicon. Uh, you must be referring to John Goblicon, who is uh, our visual. Uh, he, we have a goblin on stage who is our biggest fan. He follows us everywhere um, and uh, is on stage with us. and. Our other fans seem to like that, so we keep doing it. <laughs> it is adorable. They carry their own goblin with with them, and they're being interviewed by a troll, so it all works out. <laughs> I had to. I had to go there. You know what I'm saying? So, new drummer. Realize you were a troll. Well, you yeah, know. For for those of you that have put all those like nice, se sexy responses on my interviews, that one was for you. Fuck you, haters. Anyways, <laughs> I digress. Being the new drummer, tell me that experience. Uh, well, like I said, um, I play the drums, and I've I've played drums once before. So, when once I learned these songs, it was easy. You know, I just had to learn the songs, and then and then I play them, play the drums. Well, I was I was really excited because you're, it it is it's the same band, but you're fucking just wow. Because I mean I know because I've seen both. So you know, and I heard well I haven't seen you live yet, but I've heard. So I'm really, really stoked. Gonna kick <laughs> yeah, right? I can't wait. I've been, it is so weird. We were at a show, I think it might have been Tooth Grinder, and I was like, have you guys ever heard about Necrogoblicon? And then, like, literally a couple of days after that, I saw you guys were coming, and I was like, no fucking way! I was, yes. I was kind of stoked. Oh, yeah. So, um, so now that we talked about the new album, Friday the 13th in April, guys, is Welcome to Bonkers. Let's get into some ink. Anybody want to show and share some ink? Uh, I don't have any ink. These guys both have ink. Is there a reason you don't have it? I just, you know, I'm too indecisive. Yeah. Indecisive? Yeah. And I want to be cool and stand out. Well, the first time I saw you, I explained to you is when I looked at you, I was like, that was the kind of kid that you would see at the grocery store begging your groceries, like clean cut, nice. <laughs> and then you broke out into singing and, and you screamed metal about trolls and goblins. And I was like, fuck yeah. So grocery I was a, kid. That, yeah. that's a compliment. You know oh, what I thank mean? You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like you seemed, you know, you were all clean cut, nice. <laughs> right. And then all of a sudden you went Rrr, and it was, yeah, it was an experience. You, hate, will, you know, the inner hate. It was amazing. I keep it locked away until showtime. <laughs> well, I was kind of nervous because I'm like, all those metal bands went up, then you guys come up, and I'm like, God, 
He doesn't even look metal. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. This is all part of the joke. It's all part of the show. It was amazing. But you've had ink. I, I do have ink. You want to show us where? Um, I have an ink here. It says, don't worry about it. It's fine. All right. What's the meaning? I mean, obviously, but what, what, what made you get that? Um, uh, worrying about it. And I decided to not worry about it and uh, to remind myself to not worry about it. I got this tattoo. Do you have any other ones? I do. I have a, uh, I have a wizard lizard right here. It is uh, both a wizard and a lizard. <laughs> and uh, I have a burrito right here. And uh, that's a burrito because I like burritos. And that's all my tattoos. Who did your ink? Same person, different person? Um, this was uh, someone in Vegas who I don't remember because I might have been inebriated. Um, I actually don't remember who did any of my ink, actually. I, 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 have an, I have an artist for this one who, it was traced over, but the person traced it over. I don't, I don't remember his name either. Oh, that's so, cool. Yeah. Is there, do you plan on getting any more? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I should add that. Yeah, thank you for the, tying it all together. Yeah, the, the person who designed this image designed our the Welcome to Bonkers yeah, cover. Well. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying to avoid my <laughs> gross arm hair. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. your, your lizard has a mustache. It's all, it's cool. Yeah. It works Harry out. Lizard, yeah. There you go. Why not? It sounds phallic. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. We're not even going to go there yet. Um, anywho, do you have um, any plans to get any more? Uh, no plans, but I probably will. But I don't have plans for it. Very cool. And you, sir? Any ink on you? Well, yes. Um, interestingly enough, I have a dragon wizard on my arm, which I got many years before this young man and then uh, just you know to a different different time different place but we ended up with uh, similar concepts on the exact same place on our body probably some meaning in there haven't figured that out yet mostly it's just a cool looking guy you know that's fate you were meant to be a part of Necrogoblicon I suppose so ever since I met them on MySpace like 10 years ago so well, more than that maybe 11 maybe, maybe even 11 more than 10 could be 11 or Let's 12. Call it 15 to be safe. Yeah. 15 to 35 years ago, I heard about Necrogoblicon. This was about 60 years after their first band. Uh, it was It was Mechnogoblicon. It was like all like like mechs and they were like a goblin mask, but they were just kind of like shooting missiles and and in, anyway, had to change the name, I guess. It was somebody already trademarked it, I guess. I don't know. Kids, right? Right. Yeah, and Necrogoblicon is a more accessible name. Yeah. yeah. It's the end. There's one less line in the letter. It's just easier to draw. Yeah, marketing. Always thinking about marketing. One step ahead. You know? Well, you guys do a great job on that. You guys I do some great videos, and I, I love your shit. Obviously, kind of a fan. What else you got going on there? Oh, uh, what else I got going on? Well, I have uh, my... I'm sorry, my you pull your hair? Well, it happens, right? <laughs> this is my sea leg. Okay, my first ever tattoo was... Um, just given to me by a friend of mine and then I got a sword and then I got it touched up and then it, I got it infected because I was um, well it doesn't matter because I got it infected that was my fault and um, this was my second here and then this one I got when the first time I went to New York in 09 and then I got it touched up in 015 same guy and then um, probably this one here is the best one and that's the one that my girlfriend gave to me who is a tattoo artist in Denver and you want to give the name of the shop? And unicorn. Uh, she goes. She goes by Mithrin Design, at Mithrin Design on uh, the Instagram and other various locations. Okay. But yeah, she's sort of uh, just hops around, you know, wherever she can get some work done. Well, she does but beautiful work. She does very good work. So you, so you have your own tattoo artist. Do you plan on getting any more? Yeah, I got to fill out the sea leg, uh, maybe before Warped, you know, for Warped tour that is. And um, we'll just see how see how it goes. There you go. I see what he did there. Ah! Isn't it sad? It's it's goodbye warp tour. How, do we have any feelings on that? Uh, I'm seething. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what happens. I guess they want to like keep it alive in some way, but not in a a way that involves being on on the tour for like seven weeks. Right. So yeah, that's uh, a, a logistical nightmare. I can't imagine. Yeah. Oh, we, we've talked to bands about it, and they, they both love that tour and hate that tour, and fucking shout out to any band that has survived Warp Tour, because it is fucking hell. So, 
And fans love it. Yes. <laughs> I mean, enjoy that, guys. <laughs> Get ready for Warp Tour. <laughs> All right. We are very, very excited because in a few short minutes, these guys, Necrogobicon, are going to be fucking taking over Gas Monkey Bar and Grill. Yeah!